number two, Hollywood. They talk Midget D in a rematch of that hardcore Midget match we had several weeks ago. But right now, the Wild Eyes Southern Boy, Tracy Smothers, comes in. Brothers taking on the crazy Motley Cruz with Tasha. Tasha managed to change into a different outfit. It's kind of like more costume changes. And I just want to know one thing. Is it great to be alive and to be in Memphis, Tennessee on a Wednesday night or what, huh? Hey, Motley Cruz. I got all the respect in the world for the fact that you are definitely hardcore and you can definitely kick ass. You and Bull Payne are probably two of the most underrated wrestlers in our sport. And I don't call it sports entertainment. But what I want to say is this. I want to know if you can wrestle. I want to know if you can fight. Not with this stuff. Not with any chairs. I'm saying hand to hand. Let's dance, Bubba. Let's see if you've got one more left in you. That's what I'm screaming. You people want to see a wrestling match? Let's do something different here and have a wrestling match, huh? Tracy Smothers, you and I go way back to Smoky Mountain taking over USWA. I have all the respect in the world for you, my brother. You want hand-to-hand, -hand, no hardcore? You got it. See, Tracy, you know, and I believe all these people know I could probably beat your ass with all this out here, but I'll oblige you. Let's get it on. What the hell? They're putting the weapons aside? Hey, it's a talk night. We're fixing to dance, Bubba, but I know this for a fact. You were part of the rock and roll RPMs that had a big feud with the fabulous ones that sold out this whole area, the whole southeast, for a few months, sir. We were both a part of it. Let's go back about 15, 16 years and let's see what you got, Bubba. The hell is Tracy's mother's talking about? He lost me on that wrestling history lesson. I'm glad it's not hardcore. I wouldn't want Tracy to get hit in the head with a chair one more time. All right, here we go. A wrestling match. Collar and elbow lock up. Clean break out of Smothers. Once again, Collar and elbow lock up into the corner. Alki doesn't quite know what to do. I guess he calls for a break. Motley saying he pulled his hair. one of the most athletically, scientifically sound wrestlers you'll find here in the Mid-South. I wouldn't necessarily say that at Cruz until that. Oh, look, he's proud. A little Fargo strut. Motley Cruz has been causing havoc here in KW for quite some time. And since he broke apart from Weed, of course, when he was with Weed, he still bash people over the head with any options he get. Collar and elbow tie up in the center of the ring. Fireman's carry out of Smothers. And now an arm drag sends Cruz to the mat. Smothers falls up with a drop kick. Cruz scoots out of the ring. As Tracy Smothers do a little dance. Make a little love, get down tonight. There for a second. I'm back with everybody now. Nice outfit you've got on. Heard she got that at Fredericks of West Memphis. Tracy Smothers locks up with Motley one more time. Headlock. Motley fires him off into the rope. Ducks down and Tasha grabs Tracy Smothers' leg. So much for one-on-one -on -one competition. Motley with the elbow drop. Falls it up with the second. That's a lot of weight coming down on the Smothers. A third. That one could have been into the throat. It was hard for me to tell at my vantage point. And now as Motley distracts referee Alki Hall and Tasha has Smothers draped over the second rope. Choking him and now slaps him. Motley dragging the leg across. Putting the pressure on. 
Brown trying to cut off the air to Tracy Smothers. Alki trying to get Motley to break it. Motley finally does, but falls up with a fist to the head. Fire Smothers off into the rope. Down for a big body drop, and Tracy Smothers going for the sunset flip. I didn't think he had it, but he finally got the leverage to pull him over, but did not get the pin. Cruz back up. Close line. Takes Smothers out of the boot. Motley going down for the cover. Alki down. Count of one. Two. Only a count of two. And now, Motley Cruz back in for the chokehold. Well, there's been a, a few, uh, well, as, if you're going to go by old school rules, They've been breaking those, but at least no weapons have come into play. They've been true to that word. Mothers, ducks, an elbow, flying cross, body block down for a pin on Cruz. Aki down, one. Only a count of one. That time, Cruz getting his second win back up. Neckbreaker. I don't think Cruz has actually wrestled this long in a long time. Count of two. Cruz is one tough son of a gun. But mostly you see the brawling, the weapons, the destruction. He gets in there and destroys people. But we've seen tonight, he can get in there and grapple it with the best. Is that a verb? Am I making up words here now? I'm sure they'll let me know on Welcome to the Front Row. And now he has. Chinlock on, Smothers down on the mat. Applying pressure. Smothers just about out of it. Alki checking. No, Smothers keeps the arm up. Not quite a sleeper hold, but the same theory. Putting pressure down, trying to cut off the flow of blood. Trying to put pressure on the arteries. Smothers back to his feet. Oh, and a little mule kick. Benny Slovakic takes Cruz down, Smothers back up, a second to the back of the head, the martial arts skills of Tracy Smothers, sets him up, boots in the midsection, fires Cruz off of the rope, Cruz reverses it, here comes Smothers, oh no, flashjacks him over, that's Motley's move, but he can't follow up, too much has been taken out of Cruz in this matchup, Tasha begging Cruz to go over for the pin, I think he may have had Smothers at that point. Cruz out of it. Oh, now here we go. Tasha with the table. I didn't think this would last long. Tasha puts the table into the ring. Well, you know they're still ticked off at Smothers for coming in last week when Cruz and his new partner, the Hellraiser, came in attacking Golden in his match with Wolfie D. Tracy Smothers was one of the guys that came out and made the save for Golden. Setting up. Smothers on the top rope. Locks the legs in. He's got that table there. I've seen this maneuver before. You gotta believe Motley Cruz is coming out with the elbow. Smothers all the way. Cruz goes through the table himself. Smothers must have scouted this maneuver or just had enough wits about him to know to get the hell out of the way. Football tackle stands. Takes him down. I think that's a safety. Crowd getting behind Smothers as he climbs to the top rope. Smothers up. Motley back up. Look at Motley. The jaw jacker out of Tracy Smothers down for the cover. One. Oh, now Smothers going to dance a little bit. Oh, look out. Here comes the Hellraiser. Smothers had this one all wrapped up before Motley's new tag team partner. Hellraiser came in here. Glad Smothers. And of course, even though they were wrestling old school, this is KW. Count of three. Cruz is going to win it because this match, all KW matches are no disqualification, no count out. You go until somebody, quite frankly, gets their ass kicked. Sorry, I had to say that. Tracy. The crowd was behind Tracy and what he was doing. He said, hey, let's forget this mayhem for a minute. We got enough of that. Let's get in here and wrestle it out. Give the people something they haven't seen in a while. And all that thrown right out the window. You know, I think Cruz, he's got enough pride in his wrestling ability, even though 
He's a mean guy. He can brawl with the best of them. I think, oh, look out. It's Ecstasy. Ecstasy back in to get Cruz and Hellraiser off of him. As I was saying, I think Cruz would have gotten in there and gone one-on-one -on -one in a wrestling match just because he has that much pride in his wrestling ability. But he's got that mean little bitch Tasha out there warping his mind. Man, you know, well, look at Tasha. Man, y'all, look at Tasha. Whoa. Ecstasy, checking on Tracy. 